Hey there, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be uh, starting my DCEU retrospective in anticipation for it all coming to a close with The Flash this summer. Uh, we got to start anywhere, we're going to start at the beginning. So let's just start with the movie that kicked this whole cacophony off, uh, Man of Steel. Basically, this th this new iteration of Superman, Man of Steel, it, it came out only a year, I think, right after Dark Knight Rises and the Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy came to a close. Uh, Christopher Nolan is involved with, uh, with this movie as well as Batman vs. Superman. And Zack Snyder ended up uh, directing this one. Zack Snyder as a director, I will talk about more... Uh, down the line, when we get to more the more, I would guess I would say, important and standout DC movie later down the line that he did, which I'm sure you can guess what it is at this point. But I will get. But I'm going in release order for this series, so I'll get to it soon. I'm relatively okay with uh, Zack Snyder's directing style. I'm not a giant fan of his writing. Uh, I will say my favorite movie of his is actually his first, Dawn of the Dead, which might have to do more with the script, but I still think that's the most fun I have with a Zack Snyder movie. The only one I haven't seen is uh, a Sucker Punch, I believe it's called, and I barely remember uh, the Guardians of Gahul, or the, the animated owl movie, or whatever that one is. But I don't hate any of... And I don't hate any of his movies. I have issues with a couple of them, but like, they're typically pretty fun movies. I guess I'd say Army of the Dead was really fun, and I'm excited to see what he's got for Rebel Moon later this year. But now Zack Snyder, back almost a decade ago at this point, is taking on the superhero. Like, for many people, when you think of a superhero, you think of Superman. So, it, this either way, I feel like this was going to be a big divide in what we get from this character. And this iteration, and this darker take on Superman, I guess? That's the best way to describe it? I am going to start off with the things I liked in Man of Steel. And granted, there is a lot I like in this. There's, there's a good amount I like in this. Uh, I, Henry Cavill, or Henry Cavill, I, don't, I never actually figured out how to pronounce his name, but I'm going to go with Cavill. That's, that's how I usually hear it. I do enjoy Henry Cavill as Superman. I feel like he, at least in Man of Steel specifically, he brings this mythical character like down to a human level in a way that I really resonated with and I enjoyed. I, I enjoyed his arc, mainly. I just really liked Superman in this. I think this is the... Well... I think this is the best iteration of Superman in this series of movies. I think this is the best way that we've seen Superman in this. It gets a little muddled to me later on, but that but the, we're just talking about this movie. I did like Amy Adams as Lois Lane as well. I feel like she has more to do in this in this in this movie than the other two that she appears in. Oh, no, three. The other three movies that she appears in. I feel like she has the most to do in this. And it also worked for this as well, this journalistic angle. If I'm being honest, a lot of the acting in this is pretty is pretty good. Uh, I will say I did like Michael Shannon. I think he's very good as Zod. I'm glad he's coming back for The Flash. We don't know how big of a role that will be. But I'm very glad he's coming back. Although, it feels like anybody could have played Zod. <laughs> I, that, that's been my one gripe with... This villain, I like the approach they did with Zod. It just felt like it could have been played by anybody. Although Michael Shannon did do a good job. Even though there is a major part of this character's story that I do not vibe with, and it always throws me off every time I watch it, uh, I did like Kevin Costner as as Jonathan Kent. I, I really enjoy. I just enjoyed him playing some. I also enjoyed Diane Lane. But Kevin Costner really, really knocked it out of the park in this one. But I will say, the this whole spoiler alert: if you haven't seen Man of Steel, it's been a while. 
Uh, he he dies in this in the most stupid way possible. It's mind-boggling that this happened. It is. I'm not even gonna say it. It's it's so dumb. It's it's really really dumb. Granted, that is the only really big dumb mistake that I simply don't agree with in this movie. There are more down the line, <laughs> but luckily that was the only major problem that I had with this movie from a writing perspective. I will say this about Zack Snyder. He's good at visuals. I, I always thought he was a very good visual director, and I think this is, like, he's in peak form with, in Man of Steel when it comes to that angle. I really, it, it, was, it wasn't really boring when it came to the action sequences, and I really enjoyed that. I guess another big part of that is Hans Zimmer's score. God damn. Of course, I know we have John William Williams's theme for Superman, but whenever I think, whenever I think music for Superman, I do think of Hans Zimmer's theme. It's always just stuck with me like that. For the stuff I didn't really enjoy in this, I do know that like this is this is more of a nitpick than anything outside of the weird choice with Jonathan Kent, which is absolutely stupid. This is more of a nitpick than anything. Uh, the, there's little parts of this movie where, like, there's, like, camcorder. Well, not, not camcorder footage, but, like, it feels like somebody recorded on a camcorder. Like, it zooms in and focuses, it's a little shaky. I get, I would understand that for the quieter scenes. But it just happens way too often in this. When it, like, it zooms and focuses in on... The big Kryptonian ship at the end, and it does that little weird camcorder thing. It's really annoying to me. It does not, it does not hinder my enjoyment of this movie by any means. It's just, it's something that really, it, it really bothers me. But it does not affect, like, the score I would give a movie or anything. Granted, this is from 2013. I don't really think all of the effects have aged that well. Uh, I do, I will say though, I do like the overall, like, art design of the world of Krypton before it's destroyed, and all their ships, and all that, and the, and Zod's armor, and I do like, uh, Superman's suit in this. I really do enjoy that. But outside of that, there's, like, the technical aspects of it, outside of Hans Zimmer's music, and, like, the art design, just doesn't really do anything for me. It's... It looks good, don't get me wrong, but it just it just never did anything for me personally. Like it, it it doesn't blow me away, but it does its job. I don't even I don't know if it got nominated for the Oscar for visual effects, but honestly I won't be surprised if it wasn't. Alright, well, I guess that was my thoughts on Man of Steel. Uh, I tried to avoid spoilers for it except like that one unavoidable thing about Jonathan Kent that I really couldn't like pass up because that's easily the worst thing about the movie to me but i think man of steel is pretty entertaining i in the almost decade since it's been up been out i think it holds up quite a bit i do i like henry cavill as superman i think that's the biggest uh, strong point of this i think they needed to nail superman if since they were obviously going to keep him well for a time being that's a whole nother thing. But Man of Steel largely still sticks the landing for me. I've seen this movie quite a few times, and it just sticks the landing a lot. And I'm very happy to report on that, at least for, for my mind, because we're going to get into some fun ones later on. I'm going to go with a 7 out of 10 for Man of Steel. I think this, end, this ends up being a pretty fun start to this relatively short-lived cinematic universe. Uh, there are some flaws here, pretty obviously, but I largely enjoy this one. Let me ask you this. Have you seen Man of Steel? If you're just getting into this weird and wacky DCEU thing, uh, tell me what you like about Man of Steel. Even if you have seen it, you saw it opening weekend like I did when I was a little kid, uh, tell me. Tell me what you like about Man of Steel. Tell me what you like about any aspect of this movie uh let me know in the comments below subscribe like the video all that and i will see you in the next video peace